Hey, Arthur Charles here with another edition of Digital Business Secrets. Today, I'm talking to you about the cheapest price versus the lowest price and the fact that they are not necessarily the same thing. Let me explain. I walk into this camp. I'm supposed to buy face wipes. Face wipes, the lady shows me the aisle where the face wipes are. I go there and I look at a, a, a brand that, you know, there's a whole lot of brands, Garnier, Dove, etc., Yardley. So I look at a brand that's virtually unknown and this brand sells for $49.99 and there's 60 face wipes in the pack. And just further down the aisle, now I was, I was instructed to buy the cheapest face wipes. <laughs> so further down the aisle, I see another pack of face wipes, which is a lot more uh, enriched, enriched, you know, has a lot of good qualities in it for the skin, etc. But this pack sells for $27.99, there's only $24 in it. I do a quick uh, mathematical calculation and it tells me that the pack for $49.99 with 60 in it gives me each face wipe at about 83 cents but the pack of $27.99 with 24 in it gives me each face wipe at about 114 cents and I said to myself okay I was asked to buy the cheapest one um, mathematically the cheapest one would be the pack of $49.99 the $27.99 one is the lowest price. I would pay less for it, but it's not necessarily the cheapest. And that, my friends, is just a quick demonstration of how the lowest price is not necessarily the cheapest. Now, us as entrepreneurs in business, we make the exact same mistake. Um, so let me, let me make an analogy for you. You're an entrepreneur. You're about to, uh, not you're about to, you've already started your business, you've got your branding sorted. Um, maybe maybe you have office space, maybe not, maybe you're going to be home base. You know, but everything as far as your corporate identity is sorted. Now the next step is to get a company website. So, you're faced with uh, several options. And one company comes to you and they says they can do your website for you for 15,000 Rand with all the bells and whistles. You know, everything they need, professional company well established, they know what they're talking about. And then another company comes to you and says they can do your website for 2,500 rand. You decide, listen, I, I, can, I can only afford 2,500 rand. Or you say to yourself, well, 2,500 rand is the cheapest. You know, is the cheapest. So you go for the cheapest option of 2,500 rand. Three months down the line, you find out that your website is not showing up in Google. Your website is not getting any visitors. Your website is not generating any business for you. And you realize that the company you paid 2,500 Rand for, um, developing the website, is now going to cost you another 10,000 Rand in fees to get an SEO company to come and fix everything that they didn't do. Your, your website is not an employee, it doesn't make you money, it doesn't generate traffic, it doesn't generate leads. People have to scroll all over, click all over the show if they want to see your contact details. Um, and those are just some of the basics. Your website is not on any and a single Google platform, Google My Business, uh, Google Search Console, Google Analytics, it's nowhere. So this company comes in, they fix all of that and you're paying them an extra 10,000 rand. Now, in your billable hours, the amount of hours, the amount of money that you make per hour, you have now spent another 7,500 rand. You know, not necessarily in spent cash, but in the in in you project managing this entire this quagmire that you've now been saddled with. And then you find out after your website is fixed, with the amount of leads that are coming in and the amount of traffic that you're generating you find out that in the three months, the first three months after you paid the company 2,500 rand, you have missed out, you have lost 30,000 rand in income via that poorly developed website. So now what you've spent 
in total is 30,000 rand in lost income, 10,000 rand to do the SEO, that's 40,000 rand, another uh, 7,500 rand, 47,500, and the 2,500 rand you paid the company to develop the website. So you've now spent 50,000 rand where you could have taken the company that quoted you 15,000. So which of these web developers were really the cheapest? The 15,000 rand one or the 2,500 rand one? You decide. Now that's just one of the mistakes that we as entrepreneurs make every single day. Now in this 21 day lockdown, I need you to take cognizance of some of the things like this where some people would come at you with low prices but not necessarily offer a whole lot of value which then uh, makes the lowest price not necessarily the cheapest take note be vigilant keep your eyes peeled for things like this in business this is Arthur Charles with Digital Business Secrets